everyone, I'm MFG Likes the Game. Welcome back to the episode of Pokemon Platinum. Before we jump into today's episode, be sure to click on my bell to be notified about my uploads. And be sure to be create a like button as it really helps with the series. In today's episode, we're going to go ahead and uh, head on over to Floroma Town and see what's about in Floroma Town. I think there are some sketchy blue people there. and No, they're not avatars. In the last episode, we actually went ahead and... Uh, Defeated the Orbrex City's gym leader. We've turned ourselves the uh, the cold badge it is, and we got ourselves TM76 Stealth Rock, and we got the mystery gift. And on top of that, we actually encountered our very first blue men. No, once again, they were not avatars. As always, thank you so much for tuning in, and let's jump into today's episode. So let's check out the team before we actually jump into the episode. As uh, well, we did get two evolutions in the last episode as well. Uh, lots of stuff actually, actually happened in the last episode. We got ourselves Luxio here, level 15. We got ourselves Primbo at level 17. And well, Geodude is not a part. Is not part of the team. Uh, he's just more of there just because well, we needed him in the uh, last episode uh, because there was a guy that wanted to see a Geodude, and he actually gave us an item because we showed him a Geodude. So that's that was fine and all, right? Am I right? Mm, it was it was actually awesome, you know. So now, now we are pretty much done in Jubilee TV, uh, City, actually. I, can we actually, you know what, I want to go buy some rep uh, repels before we head jump on into that route. Alright, we got ourselves repels now, now we can actually go into this route properly and not have to worry about pesky Pokemon popping up out of nowhere. Right off the bat, we got ourselves a paralyzed heal, and that, well, if you are paralyzed and you're sitting in a wheelchair, well, if you use that paralyzed heal, you can now walk. No, unfortunately, it's not the God particle, or I guess the God particle is something else, but no, it's not God, you won't be able to walk, I'm sorry to say that, buddy. Oh, weak looking trainer. Oh, Missy, I tell you, we have the first, we have our first gym badge, so we are definitely not weak. Do you want to have a go? I uh, sure. Where are we going? Are we going to the gym? Are we going for an ice cream? Because you know you look fantastic. Last year, I'm sorry we had to defeat you, but uh, that shows you though that uh, you, you should have not told, you should have not said that we are a weakling because we are we are far from that. We are no longer a weakling. We were at one point, but not anymore. Oh, but use my magic card, my dad. Yo, I'm sorry to say this, buddy, but I don't think your dad really liked you very much because he gave you some magic cards. I'm sorry to say that, man. Oh, I feel so bad for you, Tyler. Your dad doesn't like you because he gave you magic cards. Well, you know what? I can be your dad, even though we're like the same age. You're probably actually you're probably older than me, to be honest. Um, no, I don't want to put another repel on. But what is? I feel like there's an item over here. No, no, there's no hidden item over here. I think that's just for you so you can surf on later over there because I believe if you surf over here and go back there There's a rare candy for you Correct me if I'm wrong on that though, but I believe you can actually get yourself a rare candy back there Anyway you there do we battle you may I please trouble you for a battle? Oh, you're so polite. So I'm sorry that I'm gonna whip your ass here Play for your last Samantha. Oh, you're so strong <laughs> See you agree with us that we're strong not the last over there. So we're a weakling uh-uh, nah, not, not, not my watch. These are boulders blocking the wind inside the cavern. I think a Pokemon's hidden move will be able to smash those boulders, though. I've been thinking about actually catching a Beedoof just because, well... Uh, I think Beedoof will actually come in real handy later on because Beedoof can actually learn Cut. And we are getting H01 very soon here. But not only that, though, Beedoof can also learn Cut, uh, Rock Smash. Uh, what else can he learn? I think he can learn... Can he learn strength? No, I don't think he can learn strength. That's, that's a barrel. So maybe later on, once we are able to get a barrel, I'm probably going to teach a barrel cut and strength and rock smash. So for now, uh, we're not going to get, we're not going to catch a beat But I don't, you know what? We actually might catch a beat just because I don't, I can't make up my mind, okay? Because I don't want to teach, I don't want to teach anyone on my team right now cut. And I don't think Jiru can learn, can learn cut. Because what's he going to cut the boulder with? Or the, the, the not, yes. What's he going to cut the boulder with, Jake? Uh, no. What's he gonna cut the, <laughs> the tree with? He doesn't have any sharp edges on him. Which doesn't make sense, though, because he's a rock. Um, and the Thunder Falls used to make spears and stuff out of rocks. So it, just, it would make sense for it to learn, uh, cut. But you know what? That's not how Pokemon is. There's no logic in Pokemon. Right there, you guys, TM39, Rock Tomb. That's actually a very useful TM. We will teach it to somebody else later on in the series. If you can guess which Pokemon... Uh, my next team member, actually it's not going to be my next team member, but it's going to be a team member of mine very soon here. Uh, let me know, because it can learn Rock Team, actually. Um, it's a Pokemon I've never actually used before, so I'm really, really excited to use it. Are reason different kinds of Pokemon? Or if you only have the same type of Pokemon, you'll have a hard time against types it's weak to. 
actually that's incorrect sir if you do a solo run with a pokemon such as a water type or so forth you're able to just fly through any type of pokemon what kind of person are you to be if drawn by here by the scent of flowers well i am a person of class and uh i like flowers okay i actually have a plant sitting right beside me right now it's a bonsai tree i guess it's not really a flower but you know it's it's a plant okay Room Lady Taylor. It was a strong trainer who was joined here by the Scent of Flowers. Yes, a very strong trainer. You see, see, why are all these people saying I'm a strong trainer? And then that, you know what? That last is, is she's got me rattled. She's got me triggered. Because he just like we're not, we're not weak, okay? We're not weak. I just want, I just want to prove to my mom that we're not weak, okay? Leave me alone. Hey, hey, let me just show my bugged Pokemon. Are you kidding me? We actually... Ah, that's why I don't like Cricket Tots or Cricket Tunes. The whole Cricket family, I do not like them, okay? Not because they're gross in real life, because they always use Bite on you, and I almost... How? Ah, oh, I forgot we got a Geodude on us. We can one-shot this trainer, can't we, Liz? I don't know, if you're questioning yourself, it doesn't look like you, you can. Oh, 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 it's magic. No, it, I, I'm just disappointed that we actually lost uh, Luxio there. I know this is not a Nuzlocke, and I shouldn't be so sad because we can just go revive Luxio right there. But we actually could have got some decent experience for Luxio. Now Luxio is behind on levels. I'm going to get you one day, lady there. I'm going to get you one day. Can we just take a moment to listen to Aroma Town or Flow Aroma Town's beautiful, beautiful music? Ah, all the music for Generation 4 is just, ah, oh, it's just awe-inspiring. It's just so, so pretty. I'm going to be quiet. All right, enough frolicking the flowers. Let's talk to these people. I got down here by the sweet, sweet, sweet scent of honey. Seriously, what is that? What What am I? A Pokemon or something? Mmm, honey. You sound like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> you there. I simply love it here. This atmosphere is so uplifting. You came to get emotionally healed, dude, didn't you? I certainly did not come here for that, but... If you know if I'm sad, I will definitely come here. The berries you pick up use as food for Pokemon. You can also trade them in, in at the florists. The Luxurious Berries accessory to dress up your Pokemon. Yeah, so you're actually able to get more accessories the more berries you have. Uh, later on, you will get a Pokecatch app, which will actually tell you where all your berry patches are. Are we gonna do and where are we gonna do that in this Let's Play? Probably not. I don't really my at least for myself, I don't see myself using any of the accessories besides us dressing our Pokemon. Uh, in the last episode, maybe we'll take on a contest. It really depends on... Well, actually, I might actually just do that. But it really depends on a lot of things. It depends on how... No, we, we probably do it. I just I just don't even know what I was trying to say there. But anyway, there was some orange berries. And in this house, actually, this is actually where you're actually able to get the... I think in this game, it's the Wilmer. I did not mean to talk, by the way. I think it's the Wilmer pill in this game, actually. Or is it the... No, it's a Psyduck. It's a Psyduck spray, I think. Is it Psyduck spray? Because the Wilmer Pale is in... That's in... Is that an Heart Gold and Silver? Or is that Ruby and Sapphire? I'm not too sure. But yeah, it's Sp oh, Spray Duck. Training, please water berries using a Spray Duck watering can. So right there, we go to Spray Duck. And now we're actually able to water our berries. Uh, this lady over here, well, you can buy malts and stuff like from her. Oh, no, no, no. She actually exchanges you... Yeah, so this is where we can get more... A lot of uh, accessories. If you want to complete the game 100%, well, I recommend you planting as many berries as you can, because well, that's how you complete the game 100% is by getting some, getting all these accessories over here. Trust me, it doesn't take that long. It will take you a few days to do it, uh, unless you want to speed up your clock. I don't really know if berries will grow if you speed up your clock or change your clock's time. I'm not 100% sure about that. Anyway, in here, what is in here? 
think have we already been in here? I feel like we've already been in all these houses actually, because there's not that many houses in Floroma Town. And if you've if already been in here, I do apologize, because like I said, my memory is actually complete garbage, which I hate. I, I hate that. Um, uh, that's it. I have you been in here? I think we've already been in this house, to be honest. No, I don't. Yeah, we have not been in this house. You think it's cute? Oh, pull and block. Oh yeah, she gives you pluck. That's yeah, we've not been in this house actually. So it's right there, good team eighty-eight pluck. So wonderful team actually. Are we gonna teach our Pokemon that right now? Maybe. Maybe actually no, we're not gonna teach our Pokemon that because the Pokemon I'll be catching in the next episode. In the I think it'll be like three episodes from now, four episodes from now. Will can learn the uh, pluck, so we're gonna teach him pluck or he or she. I don't know which gender we'll be catching. Okay, it's, it's, it's whatever one's gonna be pop up popping up first. Uh, I, I honestly, I I just love Flor Floroma Town's music. Same with any music from Generation Four. I've honestly found myself listening to this, uh, listening to Pokemon Platinum's music on one days I'm just I'm not feeling well. If I want to go to some, some music that'll uplift me, Pokemon Platinum's my go-to game. Help, help, a trainer, please, I want to see my papa. My papa and I live in the valley wouldn't work, but when, then a whole bunch of people dressed like spacemen came. They kicked me on their makeup. Me papa, do something. Please, trainer, I miss my papa. I miss my papa too, lady, or little girl. Uh, on Fridays, you're actually able to, oh, for a second I thought it was Friday, actually, but no, on Fridays, you're actually able to get yourself a Drifflin over here, which is awesome. And uh, no, it's not Drifflin we're catching, by the way. All right, so we, with that battle being done, let's go talk to you. Don't you dare go into Valley Windworks. I got ordered to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes me think you're going to try to get in. Okay, then I'll have to battle for me. Okay, I'll, I'll gladly battle you, okay, man? Because you're going to lose. Alright, so that battle definitely made up for Luxio losing out on that uh, train or the double battle we did earlier. It's not as great getting owned by some kid, but you can't do anything if I lock myself in the works with me my works key. That's why the other key works key is not here. My co works in the flower patch have the only other one. Haha, -ha, that says I'm no longer the loser. Alright, buddy, you are the loser. You just gave away the coordinates, uh, one well, of the coordinates exactly. You told me where the other key is. So now all we gotta do is, well, uh, battle your cohorts. Your coworkers in Enough this arguing. Hand over the sweet honey. Buddy, you sound like, you sound like Winnie the Pooh. All we gotta, all you gotta do is become really fat, turn yellow, and you'd be Winnie the Pooh. Do as we say, Team Black, you'll have that honey. We must have a track Pokemon in great numbers. Hey, this kid is a witness. What will we do? Uh, we don't need that brat running off to get help. The solution's simple. We ensure the brat stays quiet. <laughs> Little did they know that we actually are the help. Haha. -ha. That's what I like about being a 10-year-old. They don't actually expect us to be strong. They just expect us to be weak, but we're not. This is so lame. They're gonna be- They're gonna dock my pay. I'm up next. Hehe. <laughs> Battling you right after my co -work weekend you gives me the edge. Yeah, your cohort didn't even do any damage against me, so I don't know where you're getting that from. This bride's tough, like, like, really, really, really tough. Tough than I can put into words, and I know a lot of words. We're done for here. Let's get back to the Valley Windworks. Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key. It must be the Valley Windworks. It's of no use to me. You may as well have it. Oh, I'm right there. We can obtain the works key. Sweet. Thank you, you surely saved me. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. They sure were weird though. You saw how they were dressed. What they were saying they didn't make a whole lot of sense either. Oh, I need to thank you, this sweet, sweet honey. Go on, take a whole lot. Well, I don't mind if I do, sir. Thank you, thank you so much for that. Slutter that honey in a sweet smelling tree, might attract Pokemon. Yeah, so... Fun little fact for you guys. When I was little, I actually found out, I think... I think I was watching Maryland at the time. I still watch Maryland to this day. It's one of the very few Poketubers that actually managed to stay relevant for... Pff, I don't even know. I was... What, 2018 now? Like 11 years? For 11 years, one of the very few Poketubers that actually managed to stay relevant for 11 years, which is awesome. Kudos to him. Anyway, I was watching him back then when Diamond and Pearl first came out, and... I think I read, it was either in a video of his, or I read somewhere on his website um, that you're able to get a Munchlax here. Well, not Diamond Pearl, Platinum. And, I kid you not, I tried getting this Munchlax for weeks. I literally was, 
I I would all I would do I, I didn't progress to the game at all. I was staying I was standing here for weeks, slattering honey on the tree. I would I would wait the amount of hours wait I think it was like twelve hours. Come back see if a munchlax was there, and nothing happened. And then late and then actually it wasn't until last year. Don't give me, uh, no. Let me let me let me let me rephrase that. I did actually after the two weeks of not finding the munchlax, I did continue my game and managed to finish the game and so forth. And became one of my best childhood memories, actually. But it wasn't until about a year ago where I actually found out how hard it is to get Munchlax in this game. It, it, you, there is, it's literally, it's like a 1% chance of getting a Munchlax. And what I, it's not even a 1%. The, how you get Munchlax in this game, uh, well, there's a special tree that the Munchlax will be on. And this tree changes from game to game. Uh, so... Very, very rare to get this Pokemon. I don't know why they did that, why they made it so rare to get this Munchlax, but it's super rare to get Munchlax. And I don't, I, I still to this day, I don't understand why they did that. I think it's easier to get a Feebas in this game than it is to get a Munchlax, and Feebas is pretty darn hard to get. It's locked from inside! Use the works T. Yes, we're gonna use the works T. But I hope you guys didn't mind my, my little uh, rant right there, because honestly, I just thought I'd share that with you guys in case you're trying to do that. What? No way you have the key! Locking the door is meaningless. I'm the loser in this after all. Haha, <laughs> I already told you that, dude. I don't think you could have heard me, though. This is no time for self-pity. I've got the alert to the commander. Alright, so you go do that. I don't think that's gonna help at all, but yeah. Oh, no, this is- Oi, right, this is no fun games. This is proper work, I tell you. Yeah. Oi! That's right. This, there, this is no time for fun and games, buddy. We got work to do here. Collecting electricity from Valley Works, that's our mission. See, I always thought when Pl when Plasma came when Team Plasma came out, I always thought that Team Plasma and Team Galactic should have switched spots. Um yes, I get I get why they're called Team Galactic because um, they've got the the time and space Pokemon in this game, which is Dialga and Palkia. But Team Galactic is trying to steal energy, and Plasma is a type of energy, so it has made it would have made more sense for those two to switch spots. Because um, I think Team Plasma was there to re liberate Pokemon, and well, yeah, and I, and I get why they're called Team Plasma as well, because I think Zekrom's electric energy that it releases is Plasma. I'm not 100% sure on that though, but I don't know. I just feel like that's, they should have switched names for these two. But hey, I'm just the guy that plays Pokemon. I'm one of the Team Galactic's three commanders. No wait, that's one of our four commanders. My name is Mars. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. But people have shown little understanding what, about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we Team Galactic will leave. Well, Mars, I think you will be the one that's leaving here, not me. I am. Um, that's never happened to me before. You are challenged by Team Commander Mars. Alrighty, so she starts up with a Zubat. And Zubat's really easy. Oh, I forgot to switch out here, actually. Um, but no, Zubat's super easy here, actually. It's the next Pokemon. I'm not worried about it, but it's the next Pokemon. If your Pokemon aren't between the levels of... I would say between 14 and 16, you're gonna have a lot of trouble against these next Pokemon. Uh, just because it's very bulky, and uh, well, it's you'll see in a second here why I'm saying this. Because mainly it's bulky. It it doesn't really put up a fight other than being bulky. It's it's uh, attack stats are pretty pretty horrible actually. So that is Perugly. Why is it called Perugly? I don't really understand. I've honestly always found Perugly really beautiful, but that's just me though. I don't know if anyone else finds that either. If that is as beautiful instead of ugly, I don't know. Look at this thing! Look, it looks beautiful. This is a big, beautiful cat. Uh, so let's go for a bubble here. Actually, we're gonna go for that fake out. I see. Oh, okay, I see how it is. And we flinched of, as usual. Uh, we're gonna go for a bubble again. And you're gonna go for scratch. Yeah, look at this. It doesn't really do that much damage. And that's not because we're level 18. It normally doesn't really do much damage. It's a super bulky. What do you think you're doing with my team? Alright, so I just decided to skip ahead there because this battle took a lot. And I almost died actually with Primp up here. But one more battle should do it and that should kill off Perugly. And there you go, Perugly's down. Just like that. And there we go. Oh, watch, we got 666 experience. 
Summon a devil. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so there we go. We are now level 19. We get bubble beam. Sweet. So I'm actually gonna delete bubble beam. I'm actually gonna delete bubble for bubble beam. Just because, well, all my other moves are pretty good. And, uh, I like doing that, okay? So there we go. Primblub is level 19. And Progly's down. This can't be a loss, you a pity brat. Yes, we are a brat, I guess, for defeating Team Pla uh, Team Galactic. <laughs> there we go. Killing him Team Plasma. Oops, I messed that one up. That's all right, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. My, my, my. You should child, will you? But no matter, we've got a plenty of electricity. With the power of chain, we can do something quite spectacular. It seems quite obvious to me, Chair, and the genius even the boss recognizes. Now, Mars, we should be going. Will you shut it? The boss is the only person in the world who's allowed to order me around. You can keep quiet around me. You only joined us recently. Don't think you're important. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. Team Galactic, they were saying they had to gather Pokemon energy no matter what. I was for creating a new verse for those they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. I can't tell you how grateful I am for you saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. Papa! Yuck, Papa, you're stinky! Go shower now, stinky! <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> they had me working non-stop. Thank you, trainer. We, you made those bad people go away. I think the balloon pool will come visiting again. Yeah, so now that we've actually defeated Team Galactic, uh, like I said, Driftloon will be, able, will be able to appear on Fridays here. So that's something awesome. Aha, Lucar! Oh, yes, it is you, yes! I have heard that Team Galactic appeared at this power plant. I have therefore come running. So the Team Galactic, where are they now? Uh, you've run them off. You say you're a trainer, but... Very well, I should go and investigate inside. Yeah, look, you're a little bit late. Just a tiny bit late, though. I don't know why it's taking him so long, though, like... Magnificent! Yes, it is! What you have said is all true. Well, yeah, why would I be lying about this? Superb! Though you are young, you are a trainer, though, through and through. Very well, I shall pursue the culprits. I have received tips of the Team Electric Hideout is in Turner City. To there, I must be off! Alright, you do that, Lurker. You do that, buddy. Well, that's gonna be it for today's episode. I hope, really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And the next episode, we're actually gonna go ahead and go to uh, Eternus, uh, Eternus City. I know, it kind of changed up the ending there for you guys. As always, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out and see you guys then. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day.